weekend, we're going to find out secret behind the skinny chef's sweets. Henry? You, you know, I wouldn't call you skinny. I would call, ah. you, I would call you trim. <laughs> of course, we've got her standing behind this big, uh, tall set here. But uh, we're going to be creating some heart-healthy delights for your love on Valentine's Day. And uh, there's a secret ingredient. There's a secret ingredient in these delicious treats that you won't believe, and you're going to love it. Actually, you will believe it because you will return to Cron 4 News Weekend. Don't go away. Wow. What is that? What is it? This is my gorgeous red velvet cheesecake. Look at that. That is sinful. Absolutely sinful. There is no way that something like that is ever going to be healthy, ladies and gentlemen, unless it was prepared by the skinny <laughs> chef, Jennifer Iserlo, who is actually, she's a secret at hide and seek, I guess you'd have to say. <laughs> That's uh, right. Her That's secret right. is finding healthy ingredients and hiding them in food that looks illegal. Right. So today, uh, I like to call this beets for your sweet. Beets? Beets. I'm and all my <laughs> Beets? Beets. All my desserts here have beets in them because when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of my heart. Uh -huh. And I want my loved ones to have a healthy heart. And what's great about it is that beets lower your cholesterol. They're sweet and low in calories. You know, I knew that they were good for you because I hate them. But listen, no, but actually, you shouldn't hate them. I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with beets, as you're going to prove to us. Now, for example, let's just start with the cheesecake because we've already been looking at it. So what have you, have you used beets in that? There's actually a whole cup of steam pureed beets. And I have some chocolate powder. It's made with low-fat cream cheese, and it has a whole grain graham cracker crust. Wow. Okay, so uh, can I cut this, or do you want to start doing a little cooking first? Uh, yeah, why don't we, we cut into this right Let's away? Let's eat first. You look hungry. That way Marty and Isabel While can While you do that, I'm going to pour you a red beet and orange mimosa. I know it's a little early for champagne. No, it's a little early for beets. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too early for champagne. But I'll tell you what. Beets just make this drink look so luscious. Now, I mean, look at the color of this mimosa. It's perfect with your red velvet cheesecake. And it's great for breakfast in bed on Valentine's Day. Are the, well, I've never tried beets in bed. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Cheers. They're delicious. Now, what Cheers. are the beets adding? The um, They're adding uh, some sweetness. Well, they're sweet, but the great thing about beets is because they're high in fiber, they actually lower your cholesterol and they improve your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. Really? And they're only 74 calories for a cup. Fabulous. Okay, so listen, I would eat this, but I'm going to have to continue talking to you. I'll be right back. Why don't you start okay, making so I'm gonna what you're going to make? I'm going to deliver this to Marty and Isabel, okay? <gasps> so we're going to go over this way a little bit. And uh, why don't you go ahead and start making So I'm, I'm going to show I'll you right how back. I make these beautiful sweetheart cupcakes. Now, um, I have all my ingredients here, and I start with a little bit of sugar and canola oil. Okay. Then I'm going to put in some skim milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have an egg white, which keeps this dish low in fat. I the egg, you mean by not putting... The yolk, right. By not putting yolk right. in. Okay. Again, heart healthy. Mm -hmm. Right, I want to keep that ticker... Beaten, beaten clearly. <laughs> it's in here so far. Okay. Uh, so next I'm going to put in oh, oh. all, of course, my beets. gorgeous scarlet colored beets. And Look you at those have, beauties. now, how did you prepare those? These are raw, actually. And I just grate them on a box grater. It's very simple. Okay. Now, of course, these might turn your, your pinkies a little, you know, red, but just use a little... Uh, I just want to, hang on a minute. You know, I'm embarrassed to admit, I say I don't like beets. I don't even remember what beets taste like. Give it a taste. So these are completely unprocessed. They're raw. They're raw beets. You just give them a grate, just like you would a carrot. And I have carrots here because I love the sweetness that carrots also bring to these muffins. Why don't people, you know, this is nuts, but those beets actually were fine. Why don't people like beets? It, it's kind of a mild, it's almost like a carrot, actually. Isn't it? It's just, yeah. and it has a wonderful flavor. It's, it's a perfect companion. It's because people, with maybe people pickle them or sweeten them or something. Is that why? Yeah, I, I think maybe they had a bad experience as a kid. Yeah, I did. A, I'm going to tell you what. A beet once beat me up. That's what happened. Okay, so next. <laughs> so now I'm going to put in these raspberries. I, when I think of Valentine's Day, I think raspberries, I mean, they, these are so sexy. So, of course, those are going to go right in my muffin. Wow, I'm just feeling excited now, well, looking at Now, look at, at this. That. See the colors? Those are Valentine's Day colors right there. Look at that. Okay. So, 
So I just mix that around. We have all our wet ingredients here, and now we're going to add the flour. And I like to use oat flour because, again, oat lowers your cholesterol. So, I mean, is it is there a significant amount of oat in there enough to actually make a difference? This is to made your from from rolled oats. Yes, oh. it is. Okay. This is a, a cup and a fourth of oat flour. Now, if you can't find oat flour, you can make your own by coffee grinder. Rolled oats, give it a buzz, and you've got oat flour. No kidding. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so we're going to add that those in. in. And of course, we've got baking powder, baking uh, soda, and salt. Mm -hmm. Mix this up, and that's all there is to it. And you just put this in your muffin pan and bake it for 12 minutes. Uh, you you are a private chef. Is that is that yes. right? Now, what does that mean, a private chef? Does that mean that like you work for somebody really f rich and famous and <laughs> make food for them? Yes, I have. I have. I work for families who are focused on nutrition and who want their children to eat healthy. And have a lot of money, enough money to bring in a private right, chef. Right, right. That's right. And they're too busy. I mean, with their with their careers and their lifestyles, they're too busy to cook. And a lot of times, you know, people they don't they're not sure how to cook healthy. Mm -hmm. So I'm there to help their families. So what are the other ingredients that you hide? Beets being a very good example. Spinach is another one because spinach, as far as vegetable goes, is the powerhouse. Mm -hmm. It just has so many nutrients and broccoli too. Broccoli? <laughs> How do you hide broccoli, though? I mean, it's got a distinctive flavor to it. It does, but, you know, I'm telling you, if you steam and puree it and add it to uh, with sugar and, and delicious dark chocolate, you, oh, yeah, I know could, it's, you won't even know it's there. I guess I could handle that. Okay, let's slide over the finished product oh, over great. here. Let's see if we can do this. love for you to did you say? Things. Did you say great? <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, why do I do that? Okay, so these are the finished uh, product. What's on top of that? It's a low-fat cream cheese icing with almond extract, and almonds also good for your heart. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, here's one for you. <laughs> Thank you. Here's one for me, and let's see. There's one for Isabel, and one for <laughs> Marty, and one for our producer Jen, who's yelling in my ear. <laughs> okay. So. She wants two, Henry. She wants <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, two over. Paul. Paul, could you bring these over to Isabel and Marty while we're tasting them? Have you guys started on the cheese? Yeah, we had some. Have this you started the cheese? This is a breakfast treat, too. Is it really? Right. It goes well with the mimosa. Paul, oh, yeah. thank you. Those two. No, not those two. Those two. No, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, it's mine. None Wait, for yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh, here, Henry. You can have mine. So, uh, skinnychef.com is the place to go for more information on how to hide healthy food. And how to say how to stay trim, if not downright skinny, uh, and healthy while eating well. And to you, I say, Madame, Happy Valentine's Day. To you, Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Henry. Um, born up with food. Mm, mm. Not shabby. That's, so mm, that's mm. delicious. I told you Ooh, so that's really good. Mm. Marty, Isabel, how are you doing over there? Well, um, did talking. you put beets in the, in the muffins also? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of them. Because we neither, both neither one of us are beets fans. We don't like beets. You know and, what? And you hid them very well. Mm -hmm. I, I'll bet you don't even know what beets taste like anymore. You're That's probably right, because I haven't had them in years. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's ah. sort of the mindset That's up here, right, you yeah. know. I didn't like, ooh, I don't like beets. How was that cheesecake, by the way? It was a little I heavy, it. but I. But it's something I would be surprised it had beets in it. I would, it's too, but i got to tell you, I like the muffins better. But it's made with low-fat cream cheese. Oh. Okay. okay. Amazing. Thank you very much, Amper. You can take them with the Sharver Taco Fall. Muffins, I like the topping on the That's muffin. That's very good. I'm a real yeah. sucker for slow frosting on the cake. Uh, <laughs> As we continue breakfast here, up next on Cron 4 Newsweek and a check of this morning's top.